Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions and today we've got a structural analysis FE exam problem. We have a free guide that gives you the five steps to solving any FE exam problem and you can download that guide 100% free. Just go to the description box down below. Now let's get into this problem here. So we have a truss and so we need to determine if the truss seen below is stable and whether it's statically determinant or not. And so we have four options, unstable, stable and statically determinate, stable and statically indeterminate, or stable. So we're determining its stability and determinability, essentially, uh, here with this problem. Now I went to the FE exam section. It's on page 271. If you're going to want to know where to go on the FE exam, just put in stability and then search for that, and you should be able to find these equations here. I have them listed on the right. And so for a truss, we're not working with a frame, we're working with a truss. The stack analysis equation is essentially m plus r equals 2j. And then based on how that equation turns out, we can determine whether uh, it's unstable, it's statically determinant, or not statically determinant. So if I set up this equation here, m plus r equals 2j, we can use that as our blueprint for finding uh, the answer to this one. So m equals number of members. So let's count the number of members uh, in this truss so far. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So we got seventeen members. Make sure you count these accurately because it will change your answer. The number of independent reaction components. And so we've got two pins and a roller. If you remember, rollers have one reaction. Essentially, they can't react in the x direction, and then pins can actually react in two different directions, x and y. So we have five total reactions there. And that's going to equal 2j. And what is 2j? Well, that's the number of joints on the truss. So we need to count all those. One, two, three. Then we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we have 10. So 2 times 10. We got 22 equals 20 in this situation here. And so that's greater. So the left side's greater than the right side. And so m plus r is greater than 2j. So this one is static, uh, stable, yet statically indeterminate. So the answer we're looking at is C. But let's understand some of the logic behind uh, this one here. Now, if we think about it, um, the structure is stable. There are enough support reactions to make sure that it doesn't uh, fall, apart, oh, fall apart and remain static, right? But if you think about using your statics equations, there's three, uh, there's three different points of reactions or five total. If you use your equations, some, some of the uh, force in the x or y direction, there'd be way too many unknowns to figure out what these reactions are. Now you can actually find them using some very complicated equations, but in this case, we're not going to do that on the FE exam. Um, but just given that there's so many reactions here from these additional pins and, and, and joints, um, we know that we're not going to be able to solve this through statics. And so that's sort of the, the quick look at uh, what this answer is likely to be. But using the equation will help you arrive at the correct answer every time. So I hope this problem helped you out. Leave a question down below. Let us know what kind of problems you want us to cover. And we will see you guys in the next video.